to my realistic morning routine although i may not wake up at the same time every single day the things that i do within my routine have stayed the same now i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i've stayed consistent and built these habits over time so i stay productive now because this is realistic Bo is over and honestly the first thing i do in the morning is feed mom, mom. because if i don't feed her first she will be in my ear like no other so I made a note to myself to feed her first each morning and then I am able to start my routine essentially. Good morning you guys. Welcome to this realistic morning routine that is going to allow us to get back into our routine for school. I'm going to be honest, the first thing that I really do is wake up and feed Ella because she has been literally meowing since 5 a.m. But y'all haven't noticed, Bo is over and he's not going to get up this early. So I would have made my bed, so just pretend it's made because I would have made it, but he's laying in it. Also, I got a new toothbrush and it's like a click toothbrush and this pops off and it's like a detachable head. I don't know, it's cool. Now, me personally, when I'm getting up and getting ready to go to the gym, having a set skincare routine is going to help me stay consistent with my morning and also allow me to feel more put together and, you know, get ready for my day. So I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup for the gym. I like to just gel my brows back in the eyebrow here so they stay in place, curl my lashes, days if I'm wanting to do more or less or nothing at all so be it but it just helps me feel more confident and feel better about starting my day honestly I'm just about if it makes you feel better then do it let's 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 work on my hair because what's going on I get a lot of questions about where I get my bonnets from um, Amazon Oh, this is literally the best edge control ever. Literally ever. Almost gone. And it holds my edges while I sweat. But I literally do anything. Like they literally don't move. I love me. Ella wants to come say. Did you eat all your food, bro? video there's like one thing that i wanted to talk about because some somebody commented in our last video it was only one person but she was like you only got ma registered as an esa because your building like doesn't allow cats and then um she went on to say how it was like disrespectful and i just wanted to say like this ella was in her last building and that last building could not like did not allow cats and we brought her anyways and she literally one of the main reasons for her coming up was like support like I just felt like when I was alone in my apartment or like when I was going through it like you know Anna could always comfort me but like Ella could like she was always there she's always like here for support and I do like love my cat obviously and so we had been thinking about getting her registered as an ESA and we finally got the time to when we moved like we had been so busy this summer like with traveling and everything and we turned down an opportunity to um 
focus on the moving and I finally got some free time to talk to a doctor and talk to a therapist and finally see if she was even like I don't know eligible she's really old too so like I don't know if that was a factor in it or what but um honestly the main reason I got like her registered for me was like for my anxiety because she is registered to me um and I feel like I have talked about like my anxiety at some points but like there's a lot like I don't talk about as well and you know with social media and then moving to this big city and you know some personal things in my personal life um Ella provides support and she provides comfort like she always has and her being my childhood childhood cat just makes it even better too because it just reminds me of home as well but I the sole purpose of her getting registered was to be an emotional support animal um there was no other uh, I don't know there was no like other reason and we would have brought her to this new place regardless and would have found something to work I don't know if we would have had to pay a higher fee to have a pet or what but I just wanted to address that say good morning do you eat all your food y'all she's so needy in the morning so everything's gonna be about her for the first 15 minutes after I wake up girl I don't know what you want I just fed you know what she wants she wants attention Chocolate is going to do it for me every time, y'all. Like, this slick bag, that's my, that, that's, that, I love it, I love it. Please do not forget this. Please do not forget this. Because everybody else around you is going to be have to be the one to deal with the consequence if you don't put this on. I'm also going to put on some lotion so I don't look ashy in the gym. And my friend Marin actually just got this for me. It has like mango butter, shea butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, Jehovah grapeseed oil, and apricot oil. Butter? I don't know. It's super freaking moisturizing.
Ooh. Not bad. I made some overnight oats last night and then just added some apple, Greek yogurt, and everything. So that's what I'm gonna eat this morning. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of journaling because I've had a lot of my life, a lot of stress going on, school starting soon. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write and hopefully relax and enjoy my breakfast. I need you inspired, I need you excited, I don't wanna fight. I figure out you, you figure out me, we go for different breed. I'm following your lead, I ask you what you need, you say guarantee. I mean, you say that like it's easy. You never believe me, tell ya I got teased for these other girls sleeping. No, oh, no, girl, I'm sleepy. Sometimes I'm so indecisive. But you're a real ass woman and I like it, I don't wanna fight. So it is currently around 8 o'clock for me. Um, I had a little bit of a late start to the day because I had a little date night with Devin and slept at his place last night. I'm just going to be getting ready with you guys. Um, so since I wasn't here, I'm pretty sure Lexi like already woke up. We pretty much have the same routine. Some things are different, but we're in separate rooms. I know when people see these morning routines, um, it's like a certain way throughout the whole video, but this is a shared channel and there's two of us and our routines are not the same. So y'all are gonna be getting a little bit of both. That being said, I'm just gonna do my skincare for the morning, um, put a little bit of makeup on, do my hair. I think you guys already saw Lexi's outfit, so I'll show you mine briefly, but then I'm pretty much just gonna be filming the workout that we're going through. I know in the past when we did a video similar to this one, we actually did a leg day walkthrough already. And then we also recently did an at home leg day. So I think I'm gonna walk y'all through my back and bicep workout because a lot of people just be hitting legs thinking that it's gonna give them this like illusion. But I actually personally think that a good split of upper body and lower body is what's going to give you that little illusion, small waist. You do like core and ab exercises to like help strengthen that area and maybe tighten it a little bit. But overall, as far as your waist size goes, um, it really is genetics and kind of like fat deposits and everything like that. So it's the truth. Not much you can really do about that. And personally, I think that everyone's beautiful in their own way. So why try and change something? Um, why try and change something when that's how, you, how you're meant to be? Um, but now that I'm done with my skincare, like I said, I need to work on this hair because my bonnet is my biggest enemy. He is number one on the list because is anyone else because i've literally i feel like i've tried all the bonnets and they just don't be working none of them not a single one right now i've really been loving the hydro grip i know i'm kind of late i'm really late actually extremely late i've been using this and if y'all have never tried a primer before try a primer because that actually makes like a really significant difference i never used to use setting spray or primer or anything that is like supposed to help your makeup stick or make your makeup stay longer started using it yeah it's working but let me actually show you guys this where is it there we go the tower 28 concealers are actually like really good they did send this to me to try but I'm loving it like I feel like I don't what shade do I have no ho literally did their shade match thing online and this is perfect and I've never had one be so accurate because I've actually been using the NARS creamy concealer or this this whatever this is I've had it for years this is my perfect shade and natural beige 205 
and I've not been able to find it anywhere. It's not the same. I've bought new tubes of this and it's not the same color. This matches it. But today is actually gonna be a really chill day for me besides getting up early-ish. Not really. I normally, I'm used to getting up at seven. I slept in a little bit today. I feel like I've been go, go, go and like doing way too much. And I'm like hanging on by a thread because I feel like, well, I saw Ashley kind of talk about this in um, her vlogs, but she said sometimes social media can be a little bit unfulfilling. And by no means do I want to say like that makes me like ungrateful. I just feel like if I'm not doing enough to the point where I'm tired at the end of the day and like by the time I hit the hay, your girl passes out right away. I think I'm not doing enough with all the benefits like that come in from being able to like work from home and pretty much create your own schedule because y'all didn't know Lexi and I did like PSEO, post-second educational option. And because of COVID, we were online. So like the past two years, we, well, the past two years, of, our last two years of high school, we were like fully online. We had a couple in person if we had like a lab for a class. But other than that, we thoroughly enjoyed being online and like creating our own schedule. And so I was already used to this when we decided to do social media, like as our job throughout school in the summer. But I don't know. I don't know if anybody else like thinks a certain way just in general about like if they're not doing enough throughout the day where they're like completely like so tired and like wiped that I just didn't do enough to like relax. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm wording that right, but it makes sense to me. And also Lexi and I are always, we've always been used to like having a job, like, like a conventional job and working a lot of hours. Like our senior year, we were taking a bunch of classes working 40, 35 to 40 hours a week, at, literally at a gas station. And I mean, it was probably one of my favorite jobs. I have a lot of stories that y'all ask about. So maybe one day we'll like share them in like a twin talk or something like that. But um, we're just used to working, like working, 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 like, and so I just feel like since this summer and this past year, like taking social media seriously, um, I feel like I'm so grateful that I have to be like doing something 24 seven. And there's a lot of editing that comes into social media. So I can sit literally anywhere and edit. And I do normally, but if I'm here, there's no separation between home and work. So I feel like that's something I struggle with. I don't know, a lot of people work from home in COVID. So like, or even just transition to fully working at home. So if you get how I feel, definitely let me know because I know I'm not the only one, but it's nice to hear like other people's point of views because if I'm not editing three videos a day, posting every single day, Lexi and I always got a YouTube video, if I'm not doing all of that, in my head I'm not doing enough. Now, hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish up my hair, get dressed, finish up getting ready in general, and then I'm gonna meet y'all back up when I get my oxy shred and I'm gonna walk through the workout. All right, y'all, I got my little oxy shred can. So I'm gonna crack this open. Um, if y'all haven't checked out our Instagrams, Lex and I were both doing little birthday giveaways this month. Um, for Honor, we were picking two winners to get $100 gift cards. And then for EHP, we were picking out two people to get sent our little pre-workout cocktail that we're pretty well known for. So I just picked my winners, but stay. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check out our Instagrams because we've talked about it in some previous stories. So if you want to enter, um, I think for Lexi you still can because I don't know if she's picked hers, but I definitely picked mine. And it was just like a fun way to kind of like give back and give y'all like a little gift in celebration of us turning 20. I feel like I go through phases where I'm making my mixie and I'm drinking the cans. I feel like especially when school, when school was in session and when I get more busy, I reach for the cans because these are so easy and convenient. And if y'all don't know, you can actually get them on Amazon too. Um, cause sometimes if we run out, like, I'm just gonna get them on Amazon cause they'll come in the same day. 
when they get shipped all the way it just takes a little a little bit but these are definitely nice and convenient if you're busier like me and they taste really good so if y'all want to check these out check out our storefronts if not no biggie but anyways as i was saying earlier i was going to talk about what we're going to do at our other apartment the gym had an assisted pull-up machine here they do not which kind of sucks um because normally i would start off with that because I hope one day I'll be able to do a pull up, but today is not that day, nor week, nor month. Mm, I don't even know about a year. <laughs> so normally I like to start off with those, but I'll probably always start with my warm up. Always start with the warm up, y'all. Get your muscles loosen. <laughs> it gets your, it loosens up your muscles, and it just helps prevent an injury. So definitely don't neglect that. But I'll start off with my warm up. And then I'm gonna go into bent over rows because they got free weight here. And I'm so excited because I feel like Lex and I were really limited at our other gym as far as filming goes. And we only really filmed at our rec facility this summer because it was so empty. So we didn't have free weight. We only had the Smith machines there, but here they do, they have the barbells. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna start with that. Then I am going to go into bicep curls. And then I'll probably do the lat pull down. I love the lat pull down. It is probably my favorite machine ever. I just, the mind to muscle connection is there the entire time. And after that, I'm, what are, I don't know what these are called, but I, it like works all your bicep muscles while you do it. It's like all of them combined, but it's like this, and then your wrists rotate and you go down. I'll go into that. I'm sure Lexi has popped up like a little thing of all of like the names and the workouts that I'm gonna go through while I'm talking about this. But I'm gonna do those and then I'm gonna go into seated rows. I'm trying to think what's after that. I'm gonna do, actually after that I'm gonna do face pulls. I think I can make do with the attachments that we do have. I'll do face pulls and then I'll finish off with another bicep curl variation, probably like hammer curls or something. And that's gonna be my full back and by. I normally try and do, when I, like upper body, I'll split the muscle groups up and I'll try and do like three of each exercise and then just like hitting different parts of that muscle group. That's work, That's what works best for me um, until I continue to learn more and get my degree. I'll advertise otherwise, but yeah, that's my plan. All right, y'all, I guess it's time for me to take y'all through Anna's upper body workout. Like our mornings, they are similar. So like our workouts, they are similar as well. But I will have all the details at the top of the screen along with the sets and reps um one thing that i did want to talk to you guys about is honor active they are having a new reset capsule launching tomorrow thursday at 11 a.m cst and there's just a whole lot you guys as you can see anna's outfit is literally so cute like you'll see later on the bra that she pairs with these effortless leggings but with this new reset capsule there's new mellow soft colors and there is a new style there's also new effortless colors and a new style of bra and they are just so flattering the colors look so good on everybody i see it in and i just can't wait for y'all to get your hands on this drop because it is honestly probably one of my favorite in a while and i just want to let y'all know that i am hosting a little birthday giveaway still where i give away two um a hundred dollar gift cards and if you would like to support your girls and enter the giveaway, you can shop through our links. Anna's giveaway is unfortunately closed, but mine is still open till Friday. So if you would like to get anything and you want to, you know, automatically enter a giveaway, my link will be in the description and so will Anna's. And then they will also be in our Instagram bios. And if you would like to see what the products will look like, we also have a lot of um, videos and pictures on our Instagram and on TikTok. And yeah, and as you can see here, Anna's outfit looks so good. The bandeau bra is so flattering. There's so many different ways to wear it. And then also, she's got on the staple, the effortless leggings. And these are by far my favorite leggings that Honor Active has. And I'm sure you guys have seen us wear them literally every single time we work out. But 
I just wanted to pop in here and tell y'all about that capsule and about my giveaway that is still going on and I just want to thank you guys so much for your patience because I really would have had this video done by Sunday if Final Cut hadn't have crashed but let alone that you guys will still show your love and support and I just want to thank you guys for watching and still being here y'all know we love you and I'm glad I can get back to you this month because it was my birthday month so that is my present to you and that concludes today's video <laughs> Sigue lo bailando que la música no pare